it's Easter weekend. We look forward to this all year as followers of Jesus. This is the Christian holiday unique to us. When we get to celebrate that our leader didn't ask us to die, our leader died for us. And then his father, our father, fulfilled his promise and through the power of the Holy Spirit defeated death. Everything that brings division, everything that brings sorrow, everything that brings separation, because of Jesus' obedience, gets wiped out at the cosmic realm. And we engage ourselves in that, and we're part of that. And we sense what it's like to have a hope that goes well beyond our human life and well into the future and well into eternity. Tonight, Good Friday, make sure you're here at Christ Memorial. We're celebrating Good Friday. I know it's a little ironic that we celebrate a death, but there's a lot to celebrate because Jesus took everything that troubles us and he took it to the cross. We'll talk about the Last Supper and we'll celebrate communion. So we'll be celebrating, if you would, even uh, the Thursday Passover feast. And then we'll talk about Good Friday and we'll, we'll leave a little somber because our friend, our Savior, uh, will be facing his trial on Friday. But we will come back Sunday with amazing celebration. 8.30, 9.45, 11 o'clock, all the same service. Come at the time that's most convenient for the pe people you're inviting. Don't come alone. Bring your neighbors, bring your friends, bring your family. We know that Easter is one of those days when people who normally wouldn't come and hear about the gospel will come to church. So do the ask, make sure you do that. And come and celebrate on Easter Sunday because he is risen. It may feel like Friday a lot, it may feel like the struggle and the trial, but Sunday's always coming. The resurrection is always there, and it's always the gift that we have in Jesus. Don't miss the celebration. We'll see you this weekend at Christ Memorial, Run and Grask up here.